You already know LDBC, so we got some news coming out of boxing. Prospect Carmel Moulton, who was under Mayweather Promotions and uh, Floyd City next up, had a fight against Byron Merciado. I don't know if I messed that up, but tomorrow. Now, the fight scheduled for 133 pounds from what I'm hearing, and Carmel Moulton came in at 147.8 pounds. So I'm saying he missed anywhere between... 13, 14 pounds of his of what he was supposed to weigh. But look, man, I made a video earlier about Zion Williamson. There is no excuse for you to be coming in that way. Unless Floyd told him, don't worry about it. I know it was Danny Garcia putting on a showcase. Maybe something going on. Maybe it came from Al Heyman or the higher ups or whatever, but there's no excuse for this young man to be missing weight. And he's what, 18, 19 years old? He's a young man. It's not like he's, he he has to lose weight because he want to fit certain clothes or whatever, you know, anything remotely related to that. He's a professional athlete. He gets paid, he'll get paid potentially millions of dollars by just making weight. I understand it was the holidays. I understand majority of your people been eating and you probably used to uh, eating crazy and then training at the last minute. But man, you getting older. Yeah, you young, but you know, you're not going to make weight every time. And y'all are on Floyd's other protege at one point. Tank Davis had missed weight. And it's like, man, how y'all missing weight? Man, y'all professional. And it's crazy because, Carmel, if Floyd is your boss and your mentor, I don't ever remember Floyd ever losing weight. I mean, missing weight. Floyd was the most disciplined fighter out. One of the most disciplined fighters of all time out there. But yet, you're out here not making weight. So now, I, but then when I'm watching this one video where he, he missed the weight, you heard people whispering, yeah, the fight's going to probably be canceled and all how do, you, how do you miss the weight by 14 pounds? That means that you you wasn't training, you was playing around, or in my, maybe this is just me, maybe y'all trying to sabotage something with Danny Garcia, or, you know, y'all know how boxing can be, but there's no excuse for this, man. There's no excuse. I don't want to hear people talking about, well, man, you got to understand, bro, man, you know, it, it happened. No. So if you had a potential, does Carmel Moulton, does he work a nine to five? Like most of us know he does not. Every day is a weekend for him. All he has to do is go shadow, shadow box. He can get a personal chef. It don't, it don't cost that much or he can get on factor you know they, they they don't endorse me yet but you can get meals for probably six seven hundred dollars a month he can get all his meals cooked breakfast lunch and dinner and for somebody like him that's chump change i'm sure he did made you know a hundred hundred thousand a fight maybe maybe two hundred thousand a fight i'm sure floyd you know and we know floyd got it floyd run around in private jets and and he got 60 cars and, and 80 homes and he owns all this real estate in new york city so y'all should be able to get this young man a personal trainer to where this something like this it shouldn't even remotely happen and i also blame the people around him because if y'all see this man or this young man clearly he's not playing around man somebody gotta say something to him i understand he the money man but if he don't make weight and he don't get this fight, uh, oh, for a per per perfect example, how can Gatorade sponsor Carmel if they don't think he going to make weight? Or Nike or, or Apple or Microsoft or some of these, Hublot. Is that how you say Hublot or, or Audemars or Rolex? How are they going to sponsor this man if they don't know he going to make weight? See, one thing about Floyd, everybody knew Floyd's vice was the gym. Even if Floyd ate crazy, Floyd would go to the club, drink water, get the running trained every day he, he was a child prodigy what he's saying about Carmel, and it's like man come on dude like it, it, i'm sorry it ain't no excuse for this unless unless the suits told him to do this there's absolutely no excuse for him for him to be missing weight so i'm sure the fight is off i highly it's unhealthy for him to drop that much weight oh or by tomorrow um normally what when they a few pounds off you're gonna have to pay the man a, a huge payday and if he had a belt probably give it up or not be able to fight for a title if the other person had it, but you know, whatever. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.